even though I grew up in the world of work-life balance as a motto, I think in the last uh, five, 10 years, people have kind of figured out that there's no really such thing in life as balance at all times. And you either take that as there's periods in your life where you have uh, more, you, you can focus more on, on different areas, or there's even days, weeks, you know, it doesn't have to be year by years, but, you know, there, there are times when, um, as an entrepreneur, you know, you're, you're working on a really important customer, and you kind of have to pour yourself into that, and that takes away from other things. I mean, in the end, I think a lot of, um, uh, successful women that are moms are, um, feeling that the one area that, that gets, that they totally have no time for is themselves, um, that they can, and, and they're always, you're always, um, you feel like you're always compromising you know, you, in trade-offs, but I think that's almost everything in life we prioritize. I think on the other hand, um, it, it's a really, it can be really fulfilling. You do have a lot of autonomy of, of how you're going to structure, and you, um, you build a great team and I think women um, are, I don't know if they, you know, it's, it's, they're particularly good at, from the literature, I'm not a, a academic in the space, but of being collaborative and, and being able to rely on other people to, to um, bring you to the next level. So put it early on, if you're getting into this and you're passionate and, and, and you know, I know you can do it, then, um, you really spend a lot of time on, on who you're going to surround yourself with um, to help you out and, and to balance the times um, when, when you can't uh, give it your all.